Hi, I'm Lucas with DiCarlo Precision. Uh, this is a short uh, video on how to register dot product uh, scan data with uh, Ferro Focus 3D data using targets. So the first thing that you, you obviously have to do is um, bring in your data that you're trying to register and uh, we found that the best way to do that is by exporting a E57 file out of the dot product data so here we go we have a scan data that was obviously captured with the scanner and then we have 3D data captured with a dot product scanner and again what I recommend at this point creating an E57 seems to be working much better than just a PTX or PTS export that the uh, uh, Phi 3D application allows you, allows you to create from the handheld itself. But what I found is extremely important is, and this is something that drove me a little crazy until I realized that that's the case. If you want to use your correspondence split view, you can drag your scan into one window, window and then you can drag the second scan, which is the dot product scan, into the second window. Unfortunately, if you're not aware of the fact that you have to do this, it will not work. You can notice that the actual markers are live over here, but if you click over here and you want to mark a plane or mark any of the registration targets, they're all grayed out. And this is the case until you do this. Let me unload this view, hit save, After a save, can you create a project point cloud, or in this case, actually, it's a scan point cloud. So, once this is created, that's when those options will become available. So, now if we do this again, when we create the correspondence split view, will we be able to load? again the focus scan on the left and the dot product scan on the right and you'll notice these icons are now live and that's only because we now have a scan point cloud created and that scan point cloud cannot be created without having saved the project first this was something that was driving me a little crazy before, but after figuring it out, now I know how to make it work. So let's proceed and actually mark some targets. We'll try, I don't know, we'll try this corner down here. And we'll do the same thing here. I like to spread out my control if it's possible. So let's grab the corner here and grab the same thing right here let's see if we can something else. Let's go into the crease here. And let's 
get a little switch should work too. All right. So we seem to have the points registered. Let me force these. Refresh them. Close. If we want to force them, we can always say, do you want to force them? That will say yes. Meaning, before we register, we should be able to see that they're misaligned. Not working yet. So we have one scan there, when we have another scan completely somewhere else. Okay, so if we register now, and we use a target-based registration, we should be able to view these guys now, aligned in one project based on the targets that we specified. And I like to do a common sense check typically, but it looks like it's actually working. Okay, well that's a very quick way to register the scans together. Again, remember, this will not work unless you create the scan point cloud out of the dot product scan that you imported. And if that option is grayed out, all you have to do before creating it is saving the project just by hitting that. And that option will then show up as a valid option.